Are we live? Are we live? It says we're live. We're live. All right. <sighs> we are live now on a, the ninth Sunday of October 2020. Sober October still in full effect. Oh, that sounds corny, but yeah, you know. Oh no. Whoa, my screen just went crazy. Okay, there we go. That was weird. Let's see if anybody tunes in. I can see myself, so I'm my own audience. I can thoroughly entertain myself. Carol, what's going on? Sorry, I forgot how close I am to the microphone. Didn't mean to yell there. Hope you're not wearing earbuds. Good evening to you, madam. I hope you had a good weekend. I did. Unfortunately, it's over. Oh, it flies by. Tomorrow is Monday. Back to the grind at UAB. Grind is not a grind. Jenna! <laughs> hey. Oh. Y'all like the glasses? These aren't real. I mean, they're real, but they're not prescription. They're, um, see the Superman logo? I got them at the Halloween shop, and I fooled my nephew with them. He did not recognize me. He kind of thought it looked like me, but he let it go, and I walked right past him. Okay. Am I too loud? Am I too close to the mic? I, I'm still, you know. The whole point of these little live casts for me really is, of course, to connect with the people. Because I love it. I think it's hilarious. But to build just confidence and competence. So I need to know what, what works, you know. And see, you know, what the distance is. I know this is a... Uh, this mic's kind of sensitive. But... Okay... Y'all bear with me. This chat moves kind of funny. Okay. There we go. So still so far, Carol and Jenna. That's all I need. Y'all are all the audience I need, man. I can talk to y'all. Love both of you. Y'all are awesome people. Both of you are so motivated. Jenna has a master's in social work. Carol is working on her master's in nursing. Uh, our specialty is psych. That's extremely interesting. I'm looking at a couple of things. Yeah, I got to get some other stuff taken care of first, though. But let's see. Got a little notification here. Oh, my cousin Jamie. I hope Doomer Lynn jumps on. Hmm. That is weird. That one comment keeps coming through like it's brand new. Let me see something. Okay. Okay, really, I don't know what I'm doing. But um, that's okay. I'm trying to figure it out. So I've been watching some uh, Sober October videos. I've been watching this one by this group called the Sustainable Squad. It's, uh, I think they're a husband and wife duo. And they're definitely extremely British. You can hear by their accent. <laughs> so that's one of the things I wanted to do tonight was to just kind of test it out to see if when I play this, let's see if y'all can hear it. I don't know if you can or not. Y'all hear any music or anything like that, Jenna, Carol? Maybe not. Okay, there we go. I'll pause it. I've got it coming through the microphone into the headset. I didn't know if it would output to this end or not. So, just wanted to try that and see what it would do. Oh, you could hear it?
Ja. Their audio is not exactly the best. It's only going into the left ear on my headphones. So let's see. Hey, Cade, what's going on, man? Good to see you. There's the video where they kind of talk about how alcohol is bad for you, and they're kind of pushing the alcohol-free beers, which uh, I'm going to try one here in just a little bit. I've got Beck's. Um, I was seeing Cade. See, tell me if you can hear these people talking. I'm playing a video on YouTube. You hear a British lady speaking? Okay. I don't think y'all can hear that at least really well. I was hoping you'd be able to, but okay. So here is this. The 15 pack of natural light is still unopened, and I promise you this is the same one I bought this the first week of October. And uh yeah, that might have been a mistake. Now it's really not tempting me. As long as I keep them warm, you know. Keep something. I just need to drink on Sunday night. It um oh faintly in the distance you can hear them. Yeah, I kind of figured as much. It's not. I was wondering how that input would work. I, I was hoping it would be like that, like I would be able to play something because it's running through the microphone to the headset, and I know the microphone is inputting through the, the live stream. I didn't know if uh, this would, if the headphone jack would. I don't know, but um, yeah, we know it really doesn't now. You're probably just hearing the residuals from, from this. But um, the root beer was getting me by, man, but there's only so much diet root beer you can drink. So, hadn't sworn it off, but it, I don't think that's going to be my go-to if I decide to stop drinking. Oh, man. Okay. Well, my, my Becks should be iced by now. Y'all just bear with me just a minute. Let me go get this out of the freezer. Let's see how this comes out. Okay. Hey, Cindy. Welcome to my live stream. There is absolutely nothing exciting going on here. Other than I'm just rambling, talking about Silver October. I'm proud of myself for being able to do this. You know, like I said, I'm not a big drinker. But I do have the habit, you know. And especially on Sunday nights, man. That is my night. To drink a few beers. Relax before I go to bed on, you know, to get ready for Monday. So loud, but here we've got the Bex NA Bex non alcoholic beer. We're gonna try this out. I don't know why I'm wearing these glasses, these aren't real. I just wanted to feel smarter, I guess. But, um, oh, I love that sound. Mm. It doesn't smell like my natural light. Hmm. Oh, it's okay. Let's see how it looks. Looks like beer. It's a good pour. Good foam to it. It almost smells like grass. I think there's a different amount of barley, maybe. Okay, let's try this. Bottoms up. Oh, man. That's bitter. Bitter. It's got kind of an IPA sort of uh, bite to it. Mmm, yeah. That will not replace the natural light. No, not in a million years. Malt beverage. Okay. Beck & Co. Non-alcoholic. Originated in Bremen, Germany. 
Okay, that's why it's got that stout. It's got a stout flavor because it's uh, imitation German beer. Non-alcoholic conta contains less than 0.5% alcohol by volume. Well, it does have alcohol, but not enough to really do anything. I just, I guess, just as the hops kind of settle a little, alcohol fermentation is inevitable in that process. Mm. It's not awful. Um, I can't recommend it. Yeah. It, it's palatable. We'll say that. It, it's it's palatable. But um yeah, natural light. I know it's I know it's a cheap beer. And actually this this six pack of Bex cost as much as a fifteen pack of natural light, if that tells you anything. So, but the natural light has a real nice, light, just non-offensive flavor. I would pair it up against any of the Birmingham, what I call Birmingham yuppie beers any day. But I don't care. <laughs> the chat, Natty never tempted anyone. Oh, dude, you don't know. You just don't know, man. Sorry, my chat is behind because I forgot I've got to actually scroll up and refresh it. It doesn't do it on its own, so I got to keep a check on that. Natty is good to me, man, because it's just got that non-offensive flavor. You know what I mean? You, you, you're not going to taste and go, oh, that's just horrible. Now, it, it, you might taste and be like, well, that, that doesn't have much, but it's way better than, I'll take a six-pack of Coke. I actually bought a six-pack of Coke today because I got tired. I just couldn't do the diet root beer anymore. I bought a pack of Coke Zero. They had them for two seventy-five at Walmart. So, if you're wanting some Coke Zero, I would recommend that's probably going to be the best buy that you get. Of course, they're not 20 ounces anymore. They're like 16.7 ounces. Remember when they used to be 20 ounces? That's just crazy, man. They're giving us less and charging us more or the same. Mmm. Oh, yeah, that's good. Refreshing. Okay. So... I posted a video this morning and I decided to go ahead and take it down because um, it, it rubbed at least one person the wrong way. And it, it's not my intention to ever offend anybody. In, in that video, I'm, I made a comment. Um, I tried to do something kind of artsy. I don't know. I, instead of just a straight vlog, I wanted to do an edited video that was kind of performance based. Yep. 24 ounces. I remember that. But... um. In that video, I made a statement and I, I, I put a placard in the video and I said, you are the consciousness of the universe experiencing itself. And one person, she kind of took that as anti-Christian and I promise you that's not how I meant it. Uh, I would never disrespect anybody's religion, you know, especially Christianity. That's my, you know, that's what I grew up in for most of my life, you know. What I meant by that is I'm looking at a really big God, not the God that a lot of people picture where he's this old man with a long white beard. He's got his white robe, his stick and his leather sandals. You know, that's I, I don't buy that image of God. Not for one second. I just can't. You don't decide what you believe. And just to be honest with you, that that version of God just sounds ridiculous to me. Now, if that's your version of God, I don't mean you're ridiculous for having that belief. I'm just saying that's not the belief that that I hold. That's not how I see God at all. I, the way I see God is a being that is just way too complex for me to understand. And I was talking to a friend at work Friday, and what I told him was, if God knows every thought, knows our heart, feels everything that we feel, then God is experiencing conscious through us. That's not to say, now I'm not making the argument that God requires us in order to be able to experience consciousness. And I'm not saying that we're a necessary proxy. I'm saying that this being chooses to experience the universe and that's all I meant by that. As its creation, as the creation, the universe, obviously. But this being chooses to experience 
that universe, that consciousness through every living creature. And, and I think in the video I put out, I was trying to imitate Fight Club. I even said that in the description, you know. So, like I said, I took it down. It's still up on YouTube, but I took it off of Facebook. It's, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't want to offend anybody. But well, where was I going with this? I, I think I just did a poor job of explaining you know, and, um, oh, thanks, Cindy. <laughs> the glasses aren't real. They're costume, but I like them. <laughs> but, um, I don't, I'm not quite sure where I was going with that. Re really, I was just experimenting. So, you know, if anybody was offended by it, I wasn't mocking Christianity. I wasn't mocking any religion. I respect everybody's religious beliefs. I was just trying to put out something that I considered kind of a performance piece. Uh, something that I liked and something that would give me the chance to edit, to practice my editing because it's tricky. Uh, in, in that one video, it started out to five minutes. Uh, it started out at five minutes. I ended up uh, editing it down to one. And unfortunately, I, I don't know how I did this, but I lost a scene. I lost a whole scene. Spark of life can't be explained. Got through it. Yes. Yes, absolutely. You get it. That's exactly what I'm saying. And, and, and I said in that video, and I may put it back up. I don't, I don't know. But I, I said that if God is a part of us, then we are a part of God. And maybe that came off as, as new agey. I don't know if, if it did, I didn't mean for it to, but you know, it's, it's not new age if it's thousands and thousands of years old your channel if you start removing everything that rubs somebody the wrong way then you may miss the okay it's going back up carol it, it's going back up you you made a good point it's it, carol said it's your channel if you start removing everything that rubs somebody the wrong way then you may miss the person that needed to to hear it just my opinion and i'll be honest i'm hypersensitive about offending people because i i know i can be i, I can take things too far and when I get when I get that kind of mood going, uh, a lot of times I will. And there's been many, many times I've had to apologize. There's been many times I've not just apologized. I was apologized because I was actually in the wrong, you know. So I'm I'm older and wiser. I hope. Well, I'm definitely older, but I don't think you should worry about offending people. You you know how it is. Everybody is so touchy, and they can't wait to jump on you about their theology, you know. And that's just the way it is. You know, I've been there. I have been one to Facebook argue. I don't do it anymore. I am done with the Facebook arguing. I do drive-bys now. You know, I, if I put up something controversial, like I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to, I've looked at Trump and Biden and I could never bring myself to vote for either one of those. I'm definitely going to vote for Joe Jorgensen and Cohen, uh, Spike Cohen. Yeah, you're right, Jenna. It's their issue. Not mine. All they got to do is keep scrolling. But some people can't resist. You know, they really can't help themselves. I will. I'm going to put it back up. I'll put it. I, I'm, I'm not going to do it right now because th this is not a powerful computer. I don't want to try to do um, too many things at once on it, you know. But, um, yeah, uh, I, that's pretty much where I was where I was going with that. You know, anytime you get in it, that's why I wanted to do a channel that was basically encouragement because I am hypersensitive about uh, uh, offending people. I don't want anything controversial. I'm not, <laughs> is Kanye still running? I don't think so. Because uh, Elon Musk said that he would, if he would not run for president, he would make him a uh, president of Mars. He doesn't even have to run for it. So I think Kanye agreed to that. But um, that's why I wanted to make an encouragement channel because there's nothing controversial about telling people to, to to keep going with life, to tell people not to kill themselves, to kill, to tell people that to hang on, that it's going to get better. Um, there's an extremely, I'm not going to say there's no risk of offending somebody, but there's an extremely low risk uh, of, uh, of offending somebody in, in that, in that line of, of encouragement. It's not motivation. It's encouragement. But, um, I did a, and I thought I came up with it. Uh, I did a, a hashtag called your life matter, your life matters. And I thought I came up with it until I Googled it. And it turns out there's only about 10 billion other people that have came up with the same thing. So I was late to the party on that one, but I still used it. Uh, 
y'all i could I, I i think i know what this smells like and it reminds me of a particular plant that's it's definitely got a yeah this is like cbd juice or something no cbd in it but it just reminds me of that smell it does so with these live streams i'm just gonna go i'm gonna try to go right at 30 minutes it's been about 20 minutes so far um I don't want to just ramble, but I don't want to just sit here in silence because there's no point of the live stream for that. But yeah, on what Jenna said, I'm definitely going to cast my vote for Joe and Spike. That's Joe Jorgensen and Spike Cohen. They are the libertarian candidates. I'm not going to talk bad about Trump. I'm not going to talk bad about Biden. I don't love either one of them. I don't hate either one of them either. I just don't feel like there, there's no lesser of two evils in, in with those two options there. I know Joe doesn't have a chance of, uh, Joe Jorgensen doesn't have a chance of winning, but I'm hoping she can pull 25 to 30 million. If she can pull 25 to 30 million, where the Republicans and Democrats usually pull about 60 million, if they can, if she can get 50%, she's guaranteed to be taken seriously. The, 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 the libertarian platform will be elevated, basically. Um, the end goal is to get them a spot at the debates because you'll notice that's the one thing the two parties agree on. There's no room for a third party at those debates. Uh, Joe Jorgensen would have mopped the floor with Trump and Biden at the same time. I'm sorry. I should really stop talking about politics because I've got friends who absolutely love Joe Biden and I've got friends who worship the ground Donald Trump walks on. I don't want to offend either one of them. Like I said, I don't love either one of them. I don't hate either one of them. They're just not my cup of tea. Um, I encourage you to, to to look up Joe Joe Jorgensen, Joe Jorgensen, Spike Cohen. Look them up. Just Google them. You can go to her website. She is the freedom candidate. Yes, they absolutely need to let her speak, and they silenced her. They completely silenced her this year. Even Rand Paul, who claims to be pro libertarian. <laughs> He's touted a lot more Trump than he has said anything about Joe. They don't want her there because she will make too much sense. Yeah, I knew what you meant. But um, even Rand Paul, who's supposed to be, uh, if they get 3% of the vote, don't they get some kind of funding next time? Yeah. Yeah, seems like she's she'll get that. I, I'm willing to bet anything she'll get 3%. But I, I want to see her really get in and get 20 or 30 million. So that'll make her a powerhouse. Get ready for the next run. You know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I, I, I can't predict this election. Uh, not in a million years. It's crazy. There's never been one like this. Oh, oh God. That, I'm just going to be honest, y'all. That is not good. Um, uh, okay. I might have to get a Coke just to wash that flavor out of my mouth. It's so bitter. Well, y'all, I was going to try to run for 30 minutes. I really don't have much else to say, and I don't want to just sit here and ramble on, you know. Um, she has more backing from libertarians than Gary. Y yeah, Gary made some mistakes. I really like him. I, I, yeah, you know, <sighs> Gary Johnson. But um, his vice presidential candidate, what was it? Was it Wood? Oh, man, I can't remember now. I think his first name was Bill. I, I can't remember. It doesn't matter. But I liked him. Gary tried to joke around too much. I think he tried to be too relatable and ended up kind of backfiring. You know, the Aleppo moment. Uh, that that really kill him, killed him. No, it's not so palatable. It's... um. And maybe if I would have let it get colder, but it's it's not Natty Light, but nothing is. That's the only beer that's served in heaven, man. That's the good stuff. So, <laughs> but wow, I did not mean to end up talking politics. I've been purposely avoiding it this year because it's just so nasty, man. People are so divisive. You know, Democrats, Republicans, you, you don't have to be enemies. There's no good guys or bad guys here. 
Donald Trump is not the good guy. Joe Biden is not the bad guy. They've both got their measure of good and bad in them. And you can completely disagree with somebody on a political level and still be not only accepting, but still loving, civil, embracing of somebody who doesn't agree with you politically. You know, whether it's abortion, the Second Amendment. There's lines there, I know. There's some things that, well, you know, like I don't want to get too much into, into politics, but when it comes to violating somebody's rights, if your candidate's policy, if your candidate's policies actually violate the rights, then yeah, I could definitely see that being a line in the sand. So <laughs> preach. <laughs> I'm not trying to, I don't want to preach, but, uh, sometimes that just happens, you know, but anyway, I just want to encourage you. My thing here, I'm kind of, I'm trying to come up with a catchphrase. And so far I like the one I've came up with. It's, be here today and for as many tomorrows as you possibly can be. Find things to relate with. Yeah, there you go. If you ever heard the concept of a reverse argument, that's where you have two people who you know we're not going to agree on this, we're not going to agree on this. Let's work and discuss until we find something that we do agree on and talk about that. It's a useful exercise. I learned that from one of my old mentors, Douglas Fry. The anthropologist, man, who I have just tremendous amount of respect for. Uh, you talk about somebody who really knows how to work and promote peace. If you're not familiar with Douglas P. Fry, check out some of his work. Uh, Big Fish Man. Oh my gosh. Welcome to my live stream, sir. You are welcome. Y'all, we have a kind of a celebrity in the house. Father of the Willie D. Fisher. Um... Uh, and, and you know, honestly, Mr. Fisher, Mr. Fishman, if you don't mind, the, your son is one of the ones that, that got me started doing this. Um, you know, Will was, Will was my roommate back on Okinawa and he was one of my best friends. And we, we talked after the Navy. I'd call him about once or twice a week. He'd call me, you know, he'd usually call me when he was doing his cigars. He loved a good cigar. And, um, he ended up, you know, taking his own life. He died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. But um, when my good friend Scott Reed, good friend and shipmate, when he got me to do that 22-day push-up challenge, I was always so uncomfortable filming myself or, or hearing myself talk. And I still kind of am, but you, you wouldn't believe how much this helps. This helps so much. You just get used to it. That's why I'm wearing the headphones because the microphone will work just fine without the headphones. But... I'm just trying to get used to the sound of my own voice, which is really hard, but it's it's necessary to do, especially when you do your editing. But, you know, if it wasn't for Fishman, I wouldn't be doing this. If it wasn't for all this, I, I don't know where I would be by now, you know. If it wasn't for seeing Lindsay and Mason, you know, and, and communicating with you and Deb, it made me think, you know, it's made me think a lot and doing that 22 day push up challenge and recording it, putting it up every day and getting the feedback from people, you know, um, I'm just going to be 100% honest with you. There's some selfish motives there because there is a little bit of a dopamine factor when people are telling you, Hey, great job. We appreciate what you're doing. Thank you. You're being a blessing that hits you, man. That kind of hits that activates some of the same brain zones that, that alcohol does. It, it produces pleasure. So, that's I think that's the best kind of pleasure you can get. Pleasure from helping others. What's better than that? I don't know. But um anyway. Okay, 29 minutes. Yeah, it's definitely time to wrap this thing up. And it's getting late too. I gotta get up at about 4 30 in the morning so I can go get ready to go to UAB. Another day in paradise. Carol, I hope I see you there. But um I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Carol, Jenna, Mr. Fishman, Cindy Nix. Cindy, I'll see you at UAB, maybe. I haven't seen you in a while. But uh, let's see, who else did we have here? Oh, yeah, Cade. My man, Cade. Monty's twin. Oh, my gosh. You talk about clones. He is 99% his dad as far as looks go. That picture of them together is just strange. But, um... <laughs> My dog is out there raising cane, y'all. <laughs> I don't know if the microphone's picking her up or not, but she is going off. There must be a siren or something nearby. <laughs> she's 
she is killing it. Okay, I'm going to get off of here. I love y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. I might do another one uh, next Sunday. I'm going to put a video up tonight when I get off of here. Thank you. I love you all. And as I said before, be here today and for as many tomorrows as possible. Carol.